everyone, Happy Lunar New Year's! Maya here from My Little Lunars, and I'm excited to do a little deep dive into some new Lunar New Year books, some Lunar New Year activities you can do, and share some Lunar New Year fun with all of you. But before we get into that, my friends, I did want to share, it's a new year, so there's a new haircut, if you noticed. Um, one thing people always told me when I was going to have a baby is that having long hair is going to be super hard, so you should cut it, and I was like, no, no, no. Well, they were right. I found that I was always tying up my hair, so I thought I might as well cut it, and Lunar New Year, starting a new year is a great day to just start with like a fresh new haircut and a fresh new look. So I'm loving it. I'm loving the swinging and it's so much easier with baby as well. Well, I'm very excited to celebrate baby's first Lunar New Year. So I have collected all of the fun books. You can see the full collection of Lunar New Year books on my blog and I've been sharing a lot on Instagram as well. So go ahead and check out those links that I posted in the description down below. But otherwise today in this video, I'm going to be sharing some of the new uh, Lunar New Year books releases, so the newer ones, and some a few of like older favorites that I just really love, and then share with you a few craft activity ideas also at the end, so that you can do your own Lunar New Year celebrating with your own students or little ones, all right? So my friends, I always love sharing the bookish love, so if you comment below your top three Lunar New Year favorites that you saw mentioned in this video, then I'll be choosing one of you, one of the subscribers down below who commented to send a Lunar New Year book to. So keep track of which ones you're interested and let me know down in the comments. I always like seeing which ones caught your eye. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And as always, we start with our board books for our youngest little loves. And let's check it out and see what we got. All right, so I have a little snack here of some board books. So again, I'm not sharing the full Lunar New Year collection. You can find all those books on my blog and on Instagram. And I'm gonna be sharing those, some of my favorites. And we're starting with this one. This one's really cute, Lunar Phases on Chinese New Year. It's a fun one because it also goes into like, it's a STEM learning kind of one. So you go and learn about the different phases of the moon while also learning about, you know, Lunar New Year's and some of those traditions um, that this little girl celebrates with her family. But it's a cute little board book to introduce some science concepts about the moon and also about some Lunar New Year traditions. This one centers on Chinese New Year. Now, one thing that I talk about on my blog and I talk a little bit on Instagram about is that um, to be inclusive of all the countries and people who celebrate, we should refer to the holiday as Lunar New Year. I know a lot of people reference it as Chinese New Year, but there's a lot of different countries and groups that celebrate it who aren't just Chinese and they don't call it Chinese New Year, obviously, right? So I'm Vietnamese and so I don't celebrate Chinese New Year. I celebrate Vietnamese New Year, which we call that. And what I'm really excited about is that there is a... Decent selection of some other children's books that aren't just about Chinese New Year. There's some Vietnamese ones I'll share with you and a Korean one as well. There's other countries that also celebrate a different New Year's and you can find more information again on my blog. One thing I've also been talking about a lot on social media is about the Zodiac year. So 2023 is the year of the rabbit and this is a really cute one because from Little Bee Books it shares about year of the rabbit and about some of the characteristics of rabbit is your Zodiac year. One thing I've been sharing as I mentioned though is that the Chinese and Vietnamese Zodiac differ on a few of the animals and the rabbit is one of those animals. So instead of year of the rabbit, Vietnamese people actually celebrate year of the cat. So there is no rabbit in the Vietnamese Zodiac. We actually celebrate Year of the Cat. And I have a Year of the Cat picture book that I'll be sharing with you in just, um, when we get to the picture books. But it's just something interesting to know. This one is a cute one. So this is also focuses on um, the Chinese Zodiac, Lucky Lunar Animals. It goes into all the different animals. It's bilingual Chinese from Biddy Bao Books. They have the most adorable bilingual Chinese English board books. So definitely check them out for different topics. But it also goes into how each Zodiac year also has an element. So you should absolutely read this one to find out more about what your zodiac animal is what that means about you and then also what element you are and what that means about you so that's really interesting all right so those are the board books i just wanted to give you a quick little sampling of those and let's dive into the picture books so we're going to start with the new ones from this season and let's go ahead and start with this one tomorrow is new year's day and this one celebrates and talks about the Korean New Year, Korean Lunar New Year. And it's really cute by Aram Kim. And it goes into this little girl. She wants to share the holiday with her classmates. So she teaches them about it. She shows them the different traditions, how to play some of the different games and some of the different foods that they have. She has a little brother who doesn't want to participate or is having a rough time. But eventually it seems like he is going to be able to calm down and join them and help her share the special holiday 
day with their classmates. So really cute book that celebrates Korean Lunar New Year. So again, remember, it's not just China that celebrates. A lot of different countries in Asia celebrate. And what's cute, there's a glossary at the end and adorable illustrations and a great way to learn more about the Korean Lunar New Year celebration. Next, we have A Sweet New Year for Ren. So this is a new release from one of my favorite author-illustrator duos, Michelle Sterling and Yong Ho. So this is actually um, illustrated by a Vietnamese illustrator. It is a death center about a Chinese family, though, and the Chinese family's traditions. But it's a great foodie read, especially because this little girl wants to help her family with all the different foods they're cooking. But they're always like, you're too little. But then her brother comes home, and she gets to help him make some pineapple cake. So that's a really fun one. Some beautiful scenes of family and gathering. And what's really fun is that there's even a pineapple cake recipe at the back. So if you want to make some pineapple cakes, definitely check that one out. This is the Year of the Cat one that I was mentioning before by Richard Ho and illustrated by Jocelyn Lee Landgrant. And this one goes into... The Chinese Zodiac story about how the rat and the cat were best friends. And one of the stories says that rat and cat were on the back of a bull crossing the river in the river race because they couldn't swim. And then the rat pushes cat off at the last minute so that rat can win and cat doesn't get to be part of the Zodiac animals in the Chinese Zodiac. And so this is the aftermath of what happened. So after all that happens, rat's like, I need to make amends. But what happens when he goes to visit cat? Cat's not just going to roll over nicely like a dog, right? Cat has something tricky up its sleeve. So this is is a really cute one because all the lunar zodiac animals are involved as well they're like okay rat we'll go with you and they all want to go and visit cat and it kind of has like a sneaky ending and it's super fun to see what just goes on with cat and rat at the end when they finally meet so year of the cat a little bit more about the zodiac story but this is also one to acknowledge that you know in some other zodiacs like in vietnam the cat actually is one of the 12 animals one of my favorite intergenerational duos is back. We have our grumpy grandpa and his little granddaughter. This time Daisy is going to go visit her grandpa in China to celebrate the new year. Except this time it is Daisy who is being a little grumpy. She has some jet lag because of the time difference. And so all these activities they plan, she's a little bit tired, not having such a great time. You know, she wants to have a great time and celebrate, but will grandpa be able to help her, you know, like snap out of it and get in enough rest so that she can enjoy the Lunar New Year. Super cute one, celebrating different traditions that they do in China to celebrate and just a great one to share, you know, the relationship between an elder and the younger generation. Grumpy New Year. This is also a new one. This goes into how Lunar New Year is celebrated in Taiwan, Chloe's Lunar New Year. I love books that share the food traditions. Food is such an important part of Lunar New Year and different, um, holidays and festivities so it's really fun to see that i see people making some red envelopes again sharing their foods with their family and friends and just sharing different traditions together with a whole range of people so chloe's lunar new year and then last one for the new picture books is tray of togetherness and i don't know if you've ever seen one of these trays my friends but i love these trays they're usually filled with like candied fruits and um candied ginger sometimes and this is really cute one because it goes into they're going to the market to fill their tray of togetherness and it tells you what all of the different foods stand for like what they symbolize so this is a fun another again foodie read and one about community because they along the way they share good wishes with their neighbors and their friends and then they invite all their different friends and family members over to celebrate the new year with them and to share their tray of togetherness so a great one about how these holidays are really for coming together with family and friends tray of togetherness by Flo Loom. So those are some of the new favorites of mine that I wanted to share with you. And now let's go into some of the older favorites that I think you should definitely check out. All right. So I mentioned again that we are also, I'm also always looking for books that center Lunar New Year on other countries, not just China. So I'm really excited for this one that together does Vietnamese that 
our Vietnamese Lunar New Year by Alice Trin. And this one's really cute because, oh, this shows the zodiacs. So, you know, you see there's a cat here, Gong Mao, instead of the rabbit. Another one that's different between China and Vietnam is the water buffalo. So, Vietnam has a water buffalo where China has an ox. And this goes into different Vietnamese traditions that they do to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Adorable illustrations. And I'm super excited to share this one with my own little lovey this Lunar New Year. This there. So, that together. Friends of Friends Forever is a beautiful one. I just love the cover, first of all, like caught my eye. This is about a girl and she is moving away from China and it's Eva Lunar New Year's. It's like the last Lunar New Year celebration she's gonna have with friends. She's leaving. One of their traditions is to cut these red paper snowflakes and then dip them in water and then go outside and freeze them. So they freeze like um, red paper snowflakes. It's or icicle snowflakes. It's really cute, pretty tradition. So if you live somewhere where it snows, you might even want to try it out. My student and I tried it out once and we like cut out the snowflake shapes from the red paper and then we dipped it in water and stuck it in the freezer. And it was actually really cool. So even if it doesn't snow, you can try that out. So a beautiful one about finding a new place, finding your place in a new home, right? A new country, finding friends and still feeling comfortable sharing your traditions and part of yourself in a new place. Okay, this is another fun foodie read, and I love this one because it goes into different foods from all different countries, how Lunar New Year foods differ around the world. So inclusive of all the different regions that celebrate, and they show like a famous dish from each of the different countries and areas that celebrate the Lunar New Year. And I love how at the end, you know, it includes like a little bit more about each of the foods and each of the places where they come from. So this is Taste of Lunar New Year, one that kind of general goes over generally all the different countries. Uh, this is another Vietnamese one. This is that and so this is actually translated from Vietnamese and another beautiful one that shares some Vietnamese traditions about this little girl in Vietnam getting ready to celebrate that. So one of my goals or dreams is to one day go to Vietnam during Lunar New Year to see all the festivities. So another beautiful one to celebrate Vietnamese Lunar New Year. And this one is always fun, How to Catch a Dragon. So this is a really fun STEM series. And uh, this one goes into How to Catch a Dragon on Lunar New Year. It's really fun for rhyming and it's fun a way to engage students after to think about well how would you catch a dragon so it has like beautiful very colorful illustrations fun romping read aloud to share and another element that you can add to the end the stem activity right like can you build a dragon trap what would you do to bake what would you do to catch a dragon? All right, my friends. Well, that brings us to the end of the children's books that I wanted to share. And again, if you want to find the full list of these, then you can go ahead and click on the blog link down below or follow me on Instagram where I'm sharing a whole bunch plus some other new ones that haven't arrived yet, but I'm hoping will come soon. So you'll see those featured on Instagram. Otherwise, my friends, I do have some fun crafts that I want to share with you that you should definitely check out to have some Lunar New Year fun with you and your littles. So this first book is craft actually pairs with how to catch a dragon and you can make these dragon paper crafts, how to catch a dragon. And these are kind of fun because it, you can color the dragon. It's available in black and white or printed in colors, but they can color it in or not. And then the dragon part actually lifts up and inside you can say my dragon trap. So it has room inside for you to draw your trap, write about it. There's different templates as well. So there's one that's just like pictures for kids who aren't writing yet. They can just draw a picture. There's one with like picture and writing or all room for all writing. There's one where it's like breaking down with more prompts. So a fun one to do is how to catch a dragon, color in the dragon. And then on the inside, you get to brainstorm and think about your own dragon trap and share it with your friends friends and family. And what's really cool is you can also use this to brainstorm how to make your trap. And then if you have supplies around the house or at school in the classroom, then you can actually have the kids make a dragon trap and then show them off and put this on the side so that help them like describe it. So this is the how to catch a dragon paper craft. And you can find this also linked down below in the description. Now, another one that I'm really excited to share about, and I make a version of this every year is these red envelope crafts. So these are the Lucky Money Red Envelopes, and I don't know if you know this, but one Lunar New Year tradition is that the elders give the younger ones lucky money, and it comes in this red envelope. And one reason that 
People say that Evan Lopez read is because I had to mark privacy and for you to keep this money value to yourself, you know, not to like share like, oh my gosh, I got all this money, but to keep it to yourself and to use it, you know, for save it for yourself. I, anyways, so I made these red envelope crafts. What I appreciate is because whenever I try to find like Lunar New Year resources for kids, they're almost always in like Chinese and stuff. So I made one, a Lunar New Year envelope, lucky money envelope that has it written in Vietnamese. Chuk mừng năm mới is how you say happy new year in Vietnamese. I also do, of course, have one in Chinese version as well. And then there's also one where it's written in English where it says happy new year. And I also include the zodiac animal on the back in the year. So the Vietnamese one has the year of the cat like I mentioned before since we do year of the cat China has a rabbit on the back year of the rabbit and then there's also one that just has like the yellow apricot cherry blossoms on the back um so there's different versions and what's super cute is that they can make these paper red paper envelopes and on the inside there's options for them to write like either a little happy new year note to someone or there's options for them to write a little coupon for someone so instead of like the kids giving money to each other they can make these little red envelopes and then gift them to each other with little coupons inside for things like we can play a game that you like or you get to choose the book we get to read so it's a fun way for kids to give to each other you know without money involved but still sharing in the spirit of giving either giving a nice note or giving like a coupon for something fun all right so if you're interested in making these red envelope template crafts with your own littles again they can come printed in color or you can get them in black and white for them to color themselves these are also linked down below the last thing i wanted to share is this one and this is from my friends cakey cow cow kids and it's like a little wooden toy play set with food so it has all these different like lunar new year foods a moon cake egg tart lucky money envelope a pouch a tangerine gal and it's a fun little play set which i think is really cute for pretend play for lunar new year it has like again like a lucky money envelope and a little pouch to carry some lucky money things in so if you're interested in this i've also linked it down below again super fun for pretend play and for prepping your kids for some lunar new year festivities all right friends well, i hope you enjoyed this little short roundup of Lunar New Year fun of books and crafts and activities for you and your littles to do. Again, comment your top three favorite Lunar New Year picture books that you saw and then I'll be choosing one subscriber down below to send a Lunar New Year book to. Otherwise, my friends, I hope you have a fun time celebrating. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what other kind of book topics or themes you'd like to see. But otherwise, my friends, until next time, happy Lunar New Year, happy reading, and happy learning.